So I have a newsflash. I'm pulling the plug on my Sane Smart Gen Mitsu CNC, and if you own one of these, you're probably gonna wanna find out why, so stick around. Hey, it's Steve, and welcome back. Now, guess what? I am not gonna throw away my Gen Mitsu CNC. I think it's a fantastic machine, and if you're looking for an entry-level CNC, you will not find a better one than this one. But what I am gonna talk about is this. This is the Gen Mitsu Wireless Control Kit. It's new from Sane Smart, and what it will allow you to do is connect your CNC over Wi-Fi to your phone, to your computer. You can upload files from your phone if, if you want to. You can certainly manipulate it. You can do software updates. It's a fantastic little device and best of all, you can afford it. Now, what I'm gonna do here is a quick unboxing, which is pretty unceremonious, I'll, I'll be honest, but then I'll connect it up to the, the hardware of the CNC. I'll set up the software and I'll show you what you can do. It'll be a pretty short video, but we'll get going here. And if you have a Saint Smart Gen Mitsu CNC, like I said, you are gonna want this because it is so cheap and what it, what it can do for you is just improve life in, in a modest way uh, with your CNC. Now inside the box, you're gonna find three things. You're gonna find the wireless controller itself, which is very small and you can mount it anywhere. There's also a ribbon cable there that you can use to plug it into your, your CNC controller. You're also gonna find these incredibly tiny instructions. Now, if you are if you have very old eyes like I do, this was really hard to read, but the good news here is you can get all of this information on Saint Smart site as well. Getting the hardware connected here is pretty simple. You just plug the ribbon cable into the into the wireless module, then take the other end and plug it into the offline connector on the front of your CNC controller, and that's it. And you can then put this module anywhere where it's convenient for you. Now, we're gonna move over to the software, and if there's a challenge here at all to get this, this Wi-Fi module connected, it's around the software. Now it's not particularly difficult. If you've connected a smart switch to a home assistant of some sort, then you probably will get this right away. But it basically involves connecting your phone to the device first, and you'll see a Gerbil device pop up whenever you, you turn this on. And then you use that to tell the Gerbil device our CNC in this case, where the actual Wi-Fi network is. And it, it's a kind of a multi-step process, but uh, read the instructions. They actually tell you how to do this and it's not bad, but this is the one place where you might have some interesting challenges. With the app installed and the network connected, you can then connect your app to the CNC. And once you're there, you can, you can confirm that you're not gonna do anything crazy with your jogging controls. And at this point, you can move the CNC around using the on-screen buttons. And it you can see it actually move in the background there behind the behind the tablet. But it's pretty simple to do, and we're ready to, to go to the next step, which is to do a home. And you want to confirm the home. And the CNC, when you do this, will actually do what it normally does when you hit a home on something like a G-code center. And uh, at this point, you can do pretty much anything you want with the software and this Wi-Fi module. Now, I won't go into great detail here of what's in the software. You can experiment with your with it yourself, honestly. It's pretty simple, uh, but I'll show you a couple of things. First thing you're gonna wanna do potentially is go to settings and you can do things here like change the feed rate if you want things to move a little faster. You can also check for a software update. In my case, there was one and, and I took it. But then you can load files and it works just like it would if you were running something on a computer. Load the file, hit the, the, that load button there and the files moved over to your CNC. So all in all, pretty simple. And I think they've done just a fantastic job uh, for, for what this device is, which is just enable you to control and monitor your CNC from your phone. So obviously I think this wireless controller is pretty nice. It's definitely worth the money and I'll put an affiliate link down below if you are interested in buying one of these. But it leads me to this next obvious question, which is what is the price? Well, here it is. This I think is a no brainer at this price. It's just going to be something you're going to want, even if you're only using things occasionally to maybe you're grabbing a coffee and you just want to keep an eye on your CNC from a status perspective. I think you're going to want this. So uh, keep that in mind. Now, if you are interested in the Gen Mitsu CNC, you probably want to watch this next video up above here. And I'll say get out there, make your world, and I'll see you next time.
Mm-hmm.